My name is Darren Middleton, Senior Educator at the NHS. I'm really lucky, really love my job, I enjoy doing what I do. But it's not a job that I ever thought I'd have. It's not a place I'd ever thought I'd work. I never even considered that I would work out. Um, and I have done for a number. I'm just going to share my journey with you. I think my journey is probably the tale of spanners being thrown in my works and having to change direction because something hasn't worked out. I think that's probably part of normal life. But I'm just going to share some of the bits from how that happened to me and directions I've taken. I think the easiest thing to do is to talk about when I was much younger. So I grew up on a South London council estate and no one from my family ever expected me to do anything other than age 16. If I was lucky, I'd stay in school to the age of 16 and then I'd go and get a job. Um, and that was kind of how everything was presented to me. Nobody ever mentioned higher study or A-levels because that just wasn't what you did from where I grew up. Um, I always did OK at school. Um, but my real passion that I started when I was at school was um, the sport of judo. And I was a reasonably good judo fighter. So for a number of years, I was winning British championships and things like that. And then um, I realised that at the time, for me, sport and particularly judo was so important that actually that was going to be my job. I made a decision that I was going to the Olympics. Um, that was all I was ever going to focus on. So I used to eat, sleep drink, dream judo constantly. That was all I did. I was in the gym. I was running. I was training at judo classes. I was going all over the country to do so. I was winning competitions. I was one of the best fighters in Britain. Um, and then at 15, my world changed for a while. I snapped a knee ligament and I had to, to stop fighting, stop doing judo. And I thought it would be OK. I thought I'll be fine. I'll get back and everything will be great. So I had a year off. And in that year, I went and did all sorts of jobs. I worked as a lifeguard because I couldn't, you know, train, but I could walk and swim. I went off and I did all sorts of jobs. I cleaned offices. I cleaned houses. I even once dressed up as a teenage mutant hero turtle for a kid's party. Um, I just did anything that was going to earn me some money so that I could get back to judo. Eventually, I got fit again. I'd had surgery. I went back and I got all the way up to being top ranked British fighter again. And I was expected to go off to the Commonwealth Games. Um, I'd won the qualifying event and that was what I was going to do. And then suddenly I snapped my other knee ligament and it was much worse. And this time I was going to be out for two years. And it was unlikely that I would ever get back to sport at that level again. And I'd gone from this person who always envied, you know, that I was just lucky. I envied other people who didn't have to follow a plan, didn't have to follow a target. And I'd always had this target. That was what I was going to do. Then I didn't. It was gone. And the option to do it ever was gone. And it just devastated me. So there I was, probably at about 18, not having a clue what I was going to do. I've not stayed on at school. I've done OK in my GCSEs, but I didn't know what to do. And I had a few years of just doing all sorts. And then I thought, maybe I'll try and see if I could get to university. So I went off and I, I did an access to higher education course and I was doing OK at that. And I was going to go off and be a PE teacher. And then I thought, actually, it's not what I want to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had no idea because I'd never had to think about it, but I knew that wasn't it. So I spent a few years doing, again, just a bunch of jobs to pay bills. I cleaned cement mixers. I worked in a meat pie factory. I worked in care. Um, I did a whole range of things. And then I took a moment to think, well, what did I actually want to do? What did I enjoy? And I realised that I enjoyed working with people. I enjoyed having to think on the spot. I enjoyed challenging myself and I wanted the same buzz that I got from sport from a job. And that was going to be really hard to find. 
or so I thought. But after a bit of research, I heard about a job called an ODP, which was an operating department practitioner, which meant you worked in operating theatres, working with anaesthetics, assisting with the surgery, that kind of thing. And I suddenly found this job that I thought that could be great. And I'd looked at nursing and nursing was going to take me three years to train. But this ODP job, I could do it in two. And I thought, that's it. So I, so I went and did it in two and I felt chuffed. I was like so proud of myself that I'd done something. And then I kind of thought, but actually, I don't have a degree. I Maybe I was stuck and I wasn't certain. So I then went and did my degree and I topped it up to be a degree. And then I started doing all sorts of jobs as an ODP. I was going out to major emergencies. I was ferrying people around who were really, really sick in helicopters. I was working in ITU. I just did everything. I'd work in maternity theatres and I just loved the buzz and excitement of it. And I had no idea what I would do after that because I loved it so much. But eventually people started asking me to teach and they asked, started asking me to do more to help people and to get people to have some of the skills that I'd accrued that I hadn't even realised I'd picked up. And I suddenly found education and I started to work with people doing those things. And I found that I loved it. I loved working in health and I loved teaching. And before I knew it, I was teaching junior doctors. I was teaching medical students. I was teaching paramedics, nurses, midwives. I worked for a university. I mean, me, I was working for a university and I wasn't even supposed to ever go to university. And then I did a master's degree. And I got another job at another university as a senior lecturer. And before I knew it, I'd actually kind of ended up where I am now. And um, I love it, but it's not a direction I would ever have thought I'd have gone in. And I think I just want to remind people that sometimes things will change. Your plans will change. Um, sometimes you might not even have a plan, but when an opportunity comes, just give it a go even if it means that you're just deciding the stuff you don't want to do before you find the thing that you love. Thanks for letting me share my story with you. and um, Take care. Bye-bye.